relevant presidential elections were rejected by the Electoral Commission a couple of weeks ago. Last week, Friday, an Accra High Court ordered the Commission to allow PPP's presidential nominee, Dr. Papa Kusindum, the opportunity to amend mistakes on his forms. But on Monday, October 31, the Commission went to the Supreme Court to seek a review of the ruling. Now, some also have argued that numerous court cases will affect the credibility of the Commission as well as affects the electioneering calendar. I've been joined uh, in studio by the chairman of the People's National Convention, PNC, Bernard Mona, and also a legal practitioner, Martin Pebble. Gentlemen, I thank you. Good evening to you. Good evening. Uh, let me start off with you, uh, uh, Bernard. You were in court today. The EC's lawyer did not turn up today uh, because of the fact that the, the, he had to attend to other court cases. He was fined 500 Ghana cities. What's, what exactly are you seeking in court, specifically the reliefs? Well, to get Dr. Edward Mama back on the ballot mm -hmm. so that the people of Ghana will have an option of who their president should be. And in particular, you should vote for Edward Mama at the <laughs> end of the day. And many Ghanaians who think that Dr. Edward Mama comes with the competence, with the capacity, and the wherewithal to be able to leave, lead Ghana out of our current economic and social difficulties. And so clearly, um, the EC's decision to exclude Dr. Mama is to deny the people of Ghana their chance of a choice of who should lead the, the, the country. So basically, all that we have written, the many pages of um, statements that we have filed before the Electoral Commission, bottom line is that Edward Mama should be back on the ballot because we think that the EC violently vitiated our rights to natural justice, also did not give us opportunity of fair hearing. And at, above all, we thought that the reasons for which the EC has taken this harsh decision against the PNC and Edward Mama, those reasons are trivia. And lawyer will say that the law does not dwell on trivia. The law dwells on what, substance. What reason do you describe as trivia? The fact that to say that you, two you, persons you, you, you of had, us... You, you had two persons endorse the, the candidature of another presidential candidate. If that is trivial, the EC would not take a decision no, of, where, where, of disqualifying you do not your, your, your locus, candidate on the basis of that. When you do not have locals to be able to determine that these two persons actually... Um, endorse you and endorse another person because we did not have access to all the other presidential nomination forms. Mm -hmm. PC them okay. side by side and then we we'll compare with the PNC's document to say that these persons have done this and therefore we should rectify that before we go to the Electoral okay. Commission. Let when me, the Electoral Commission is the only institution okay. with capacity to be able to determine this, when you see it, you point to us right. and then we will remedy it and then bring it back to you. You did not give us that uh, opportunity. Paper. Now the EC has <coughs> exercised its legal and constitutional right of going to court to mm. seek a review on um, the Friday's ruling. What, what exactly is the aim impact of such a decision and the ones to follow the plethora of cases in court? Um, you know, uh, at a first glance, it will just tell you that this suit in the Supreme Court would further hold things in abeyance. You know, mm -hmm. last Friday, I think quite a good number of us in the legal fraternity were happy that the High Court had spoken. And the EC is subject to the directions of the court. Mm -hmm. So for the EC to turn around and say he wants to go to the Supreme Court to be candid, uh, looking at the timing, I wouldn't have done so. Let, let's, do, let's do a cost-benefit analysis. Yes. What, would that have cost us that much to have a presidential candidate who has a, a possible case of forgery of signature as against just letting it go, you know, because of lack of time? Quickly. Yes, it would certainly have been better for our body politic for the EC to have allowed things to settle just as the High Court spoke, mm. because that would have given the EC time to prepare adequately for the election. Okay. But now things have been held in the, at a standstill for another maybe at least two weeks. That is not good for our body politics. You see, sometimes we forget what, that What this clear impact will this have on the electoral calendar First and foremost, you see, let's not forget that this particular suit and what's happening now is a national security matter. You see, let's not forget that these parties have supporters. Look, if you came to the court, for instance, during the PPP suit, 
you would see so many people singing and dancing, making so much uh, noise, okay, mm. because they were expectant, so much excitement. And I'm sure it cuts across the whole country. So first and foremost, it is not good for the political temperature. It increased the temperature, okay. We want to have peace and quiet. The EC didn't have taken us through this uh, state of affairs at all. So apart from national security also, the other factor we should be looking at is that we are spending so much resources fighting this matter. This is not something that we should fight at all at this time. You see, the EC should have looked at it that Ghana is bigger than the EC. So at every point in time, you should ask, well, there may be issues of legality or illegality, but what is better for the good of the Ghanaian, the, the larger populace, okay? Mm -hmm. Besides, let's not forget, it is not within the mandate of the EC to determine that something is a crime or it's not. That is not but the I'm mandate sure that's of why the they, EC. They, they refer to the Ghana Police Service to investigate such issues of, of, uh, of possible forgery of, of signatures. Very well, well, the, very, the well. The very well. Then by parity of reasoning, if we want to follow what the EC wants to do, then it means that due process will require that the EC should wait until the police service finish the investigations and go to court until a man has been tried and convicted you, it doesn't lie within the mouth of the to EC to say that there's been forgery. At best, right now, this is an allegation. Mm -hmm. So if the EC wants to go on that tangent, right. then the EC must wait till the matter goes to court and those people are found guilty. A person is innocent until proven guilty. No, so you see the absurdities that the EC is getting itself into. Finally, Mr. Mona, you're a chairman of a political party fighting the EC in court. 4th of November, Friday, you're expecting a ruling on this matter. But how is this? It's not, it's by, by just correction, it's not a ruling. Um, they have to file their statement of case. And then the, ca the and case then will be heard, will be heard on Friday. Time. The judge has given so each the, of the parties five time. minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes to, to argue, case. to present your case on point of law. That's all, five minutes. So we are going to court, and our lawyer will have five minutes. Mm -hmm. That of EC will have five minutes. That of the attorney general will have five minutes. After mm -hmm. which, the case is finished. We go, and then the judge will set a date for ruling. And we are confident that the EC just um, over-assumed its um, mandate mm -hmm. and then took us to all these things that we are going through. Um, somehow, our campaign has been affected. And you know mm -hmm. Edward Mahama, a very law-abiding mm -hmm. person, very, very committed to our democratic growth. When this thing happened, and EC said, he said, look, I'm not going out there to do any mm -hmm. campaign okay. because the EC says that I am not qualified. If I fight and when we win, mm -hmm. right. then I will go out there to do campaign. So as it stands now, we are holding on the presidential campaign. And you can understand the frustration okay. that is setting yeah. in because from the 11th, we're supposed to be on the field up to date. Now we are here. I see. We'll see how November 4th, that's mm -hmm. three days away what happened in the court. Five minutes mm -hmm. by your lawyer. Mm -hmm. Let's see how the PNC's case will suffice. I thank you very thank much you. Thank for you. your time uh, this evening. Bernard Mona is the chairman of the People's National Convention, PNC, and also lawyer Martin Pebble, who is a legal practitioner, also helping us understand the effect or the ramifications of this plethora of cases against the Electoral Commission in the Court of Law. This is the maiden edition of Key Point.